gentlemen, please welcome to the blue corner from Hartford, Mark Robinson! There are eight fights in between now and the final. First of them, Mark Robinson and Ryan Lee. It's one of B class, five two minute rounds, 78 kilos. The super middleweight. He looks like he'd be oh, naked under that robe. Oh, oh, I was just going to say, give like, him a Hugh hat and a dressing gown. <laughs> I'm afraid he takes it off and there's nothing underneath. That's his Sunday morning, Sunday morning best, isn't it, that? Ladies and gentlemen, and now please welcome to the red corner from central London. The Lion! Another team to you, man. Ryan Lee just kissing what you presume is his other half on the way to the ring. I imagine not an easy task if you are watching a loved one in here. What did your family used to think watching you, Andrew? My brother was always in my corner, and when I got to world level, my mother never really traveled the world with me, so my only family was in the corner with me, and uh, I didn't worry about the girls till after the fight. Class Muay Thai rules bout will take place in the minus 78 kilogram division and will be contested over five two minute rounds. Introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the blue corner, he's representing Jai D. Jim in Hartford. Please welcome Mark Hobo Robinson. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he's representing Team Two Jim in Central London. It's Ryan the Lion Lee. Okay, fire, center of the ring. Okay, guys, you know the rules you're fighting under? B-class Muay Thai rules. You understand those rules? No elbows ahead, no spinning back fists. Event of a knockdown, must go to neutral corner. I won't begin the count until you do so. Touch gloves, gentlemen. Back to your corners. So as you may have Judge. heard there, B-class Thai rules. Judge. Fight number 16. Mark Robinson in the blue corner, Ryan Lee in the red. I've seen Ryan fight a few times. I've, I've seen him fight in Iron Apple. I've seen him fight here. Okay, you ready? He claims to be a direct descendant of Bruce Lee. Fight. I'm not sure if that's true. We might find out. <laughs> and be like water. The advice. The kind of water that wins, not the kind of water that, that loses. <laughs> Ryan Lee wasting no time. Hanging in that low kick with a rear leg. Both men in superb condition. Stabbing. 
front kick. And Lee just catches that front leg. A little bit lazy from Robinson. And then he takes a kick, just makes it through the guard from Ryan Lee. Good work from the man in the red corner early. Again, see that front leg being caught. Is that because he's not setting it up with the hands again? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely right. You've, you've got to make sure your opponent's hands are glued to his head. Otherwise, he's going to catch it every time. He sees it coming. You see Lee just throwing those feints with his hands, even when he doesn't actually throw. Walk the low kick there. Relaxation, the guys. work of Brian Lee. Okay, stop fight. Measured aggression fight, from fight. him. Fight! Fight! Just okay, telling him the break. So the end of round number one. Feeling out is done. It's time to win the fight. Okay, seconds away, round number two. Muay Thai, Grand Prix, Seconds away, round number two. Muay Thai, GP.com. Okay, guys, you ready? Hey! And here, round number two, Ryan Lee. And Mark Robinson. Yeah, he's going straight in with the low kicks. A little bit wild, Ryan. Leaves his head open sometimes. Needs to be careful. You can see what his game plan is. be some uh, solid bruising on that front leg of Robinson already though and that's exactly the spot where it is so as you mentioned earlier Andrew precision landing on that same spot on multiple occasions will that slow Robinson down as this fight progresses Jocelyn positioning the clinch they're trying to get their knees in Blood from the, the right shin of Robinson. Sneaky little knee there as well. Certainly some damage to that front leg. There is indeed. Right pink, left side of the thigh of Mark Robinson. And he continues to walk forwards and Lee just on the back foot now. Jabbing, trying to measure the distance. And into the clinch they go again. Robinson driving the knee in. Lee responds in kind. A cut on the shin okay, so right. of, so right. Right. of Robinson, perhaps where, where Ryan right. Lee blocked a kick. That's what happens when shin hits shin. Certainly painful, so you have to be careful with your low kicks to make sure they don't get blocked. Hey. Okay, so fight! 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 Oh. Fight! Okay, back to the corners. smile there.
there from the face of Mark Robinson as he was caught by a nice combination by Ryan Lee. It's warming up nicely through two rounds. Ryan Lee taking the last of the advice from his corner. Gordon sent Ferguson. Okay, seconds away, round number three. Opposed. Seconds away, round number three. Let's go, guys, seconds out. Three. Good work from Ryan Lee there. Just used his strength to spin Robinson okay, back into the corner. Stop it. Break. Break. Stop it. Stop. Break. It's nearly happened oh, guys, a few times, but quite break, hasn't break, happened quite yet. Break. Over the top of the ropes. No short knees in the clinch. How much do they? That's the fight. How much does the cumulative effect of those take out of you in the duration of a, of a five round fight? Yeah, they certainly add up, especially sometimes one alone can do quite a lot of damage if you don't expect it or you're breathing in at the time. And again, the fighters were right on top of this in our commentary position. Got to keep working. Here at the O2 in London. Right in front of us. Jostling for position, both trying to dig their knees in. That's the fight! Right. Ryan Lee showing great strength in the clinch. Ryan leaves his head open, he needs to be careful. He might get away with it in this fight, but in later fights he's, he's wild there, when he punches, he leaves his head open. To watch out for that. Hey! Lee with it. Okay, stop it! Right, right around the back of Robinson as he digs those knees in. Around the back, up the side, nice front kick there, pushing Robinson back. It's really been Lee has been okay, the aggressor. Right. right! Right, guys, come on! Showing straight right. this round. Yeah, both men delaying the break, both of them tired. Nice. It's a sign of being tired when they're trying to clinch a little bit longer than they have to. Ryan stopped working the leg. It was working really well for him, and he's just stopped doing it. I'm not sure why. Well, that front leg especially was taking some heavy damage through two, but almost untouched in the third. Yeah, he needs to get back to the basics. Oh, we've been treated to some pretty good action here so far, Andrew. Yeah, not, not bad, not bad. I mean... <laughs> I think it's going to be a very, very good fight card. It'd be hard to make it better unless I was fighting on it, of course. <laughs> and we have a lot of fights coming up as well. Kev Ward against Reese Rowell will be very interesting. I've seen both those men fight plenty of times. I've sparred with Reese. I've seen Rack Reese's last fight with a first round knockout. Go on, ten seconds. Kevin's very, okay, very big at the weight. Very, very, very tall. Maybe a foot taller than Reese. Okay, That'd be very away. Round that one again is super middleweight. Almost out. a catch weight between the middle and super. 77 kilos? Correct, yep. Okay, guys. Yeah. K1 rules that one. That will be in a four or five fights time. But right here, round number four between Ryan Lee and Mark Robinson in the blue corner. You're working there, working there. Oh, I'm out. Come on. Hey. It's getting messy now. Both men going for the clinch. It's a sign of fatigue, I think, from both men. Just clinching up. Ryan looks to get it out of you too, right? Absolutely. Get falling down, getting up, falling huh? down, getting up. It's all it's a massive waste of energy. Back to the low kicks eventually. Should have been doing that in the right round. Right. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, it was working for him well. Right. Perhaps he might be wise to get back to it. Ryan Lee. His long range low kicks. So that lead left leg. There it is again from. From Lee, Can't back work, into guys. the clinch. Again, they go down. How we get both of you? Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fight. Both men tired now. You can see the fatigue of both men. So fight. 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 Still around to go after this. So 
This really is going to test the conditioning of both men. To the mid section there by Lee. Yeah, really close to us here. <laughs> having hard, they're having a hard trouble actually staying in the ring. Absolutely. Come guys, just work. Okay, so fine. Stop. I have no fight. problem with them falling out of the ring as long as it's not Let on top of me. Absolutely, yeah. Fight. I'm a good friend of Ryan, but I'd hate for him to have to remortgage his house to buy me a new Gucci jacket. <laughs> nice right straight from Lee. Rocks. Robin okay, stop fight. Fight. his heels. Let him go, come on. Right, guys, come on, let's do this. Right. Jesse, showing his gloves straight away. A low kick at the end of the round. Come. I think if Ryan would have continued with the low kicks in the third and fourth, this fight could have been over by now. He gave him a round off to recover, and he threw a couple of that round, but he isn't working it like he was. Just getting caught up in the clinch. I know he's tired. He needs to keep his composure, keep his distance. He was winning at range, so there's no reason to start clinching. But the, the clinch almost seems more energy sapping than the tactics that Ryan Lee was using in the first two rounds. He was moving at range, keeping his distance, not getting involved in the scrappy inside exchanges. Whereas this seems to have taken more out of him than, than the first two. The clinch is a lot more energy sapping, but you find when people are tired, they end up clinching because you're less likely to get knocked out. So when you start feeling tired, at distance, you can make a mistake, you can get caught. People feel safer in the clinch because there's a lot that's likely to be hit with a puncher and kick that's going to put them cold, okay, cold asleep. Away, so when they start round. to get tired, they feel the reaction seconds slow. Away, when they start to get a little bit lazy, they, they feel safer Let's knowing go. that they're unlikely to get KO'd. So. Touch gloves, gentlemen. Last round. Touch gloves. Well, the all-important this round. Who can leave a lasting impression right. in the judges' eyes? Will it be Ryan Lee in the red corner? Will it be Mark Robinson in the blue? Straight right hand, left hook combination from Lee. Then a kick to the midsection. Follows it up with another, and this is a good start by Lee. Okay, so fight. Stop, stop, stop. Fight. Fight. Had a look up with the big screen there. Listen to me now. Some better stuff from both men. Okay, so fight. Break. Come, guys, break. Break. Jab, right hand, left hook from Lee, then into the okay, so Pushes Robinson back onto the ropes. Fight. Can't guys work in there. Okay, stop. So fight. Really over go. again. Fight. Have you there? Come on. Fight. Oh, lovely straight right hand. Robinson walks straight onto that. Okay, so fight. Starting to Come look on. dominant now. Oh, Robinson's back. falling over a few too many times. Fight. As you say, in the initial, in the initial instance, so fight. not much of a problem, fight. but as it happens more and fight. more and more, Come on, guys. A signal I fight. fatigue, and it has been a really high tempo, energy sapping hey. fight. You can just feel that ringside. So fight. Fight. Feel fight. how much energy these guys are using in there. Fight. It's very difficult to explain how tired you can get when fighting. It's, it's more than any other sport because even when you're running, okay, so fight, fight. you can only run so far and then you'll stop. But when you're fighting, you're forced to go beyond your body's limit. You can get to the point where you want to stop Die. and someone forces well, you to fight and forces you to fight and forces you to fight. And you can literally get so tired you can't stand, you can't even breathe sometimes. You get so exhausted. It's difficult to explain. And all technique, everything goes out the window. You're just trying to stay alive. Just fighting on instinct, right? Well, terrific encounter. Both men will sleep well tonight, that's for certain. See there the, the good work with the hands by Ryan Lee. Through some nice combinations. Just couldn't quite land one clean. That one there, nice right hook. Ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation for both fighters after five hard-fought rounds. And Ladies after those five rounds of action, your judges have reached a unanimous decision, all in favor of your winner. Fighting out of the red corner, it's Ryan. Oh, Show 
Thank you, appreciate you for our runner Ryan up, Lee. Mark Robinson. See Michael Pham there, winner of the, the last bout. Coming in to congratulate his friend Ryan Lee. So nice team picture there. You wouldn't know Michael Pham had even been in a fight there. Yeah, he's looking very relaxed. He did well. Yeah, good, uh, good last couple of bouts for, for Team Tube. 